All new episode of Get Inspired with Jason, the podcast and YouTube show. Today, we're gonna talk about keto. Do keto diets work? Hey, this is Jason Roselle and welcome to Get Inspired, the official podcast and YouTube show that will empower your mind, body, business, social media branding, relationships, and anything that's holding you back from becoming the best version of you. Listen, before I became a TV personality, an author, a celebrity trainer, a life and wellness coach, and the founder of Caliente Fitness, I was broke, obese for 20 plus years, full of stretch marks, full of excuses, and most importantly, here's the deal, I was unhappy. I was able to change my life completely, and since then, I've helped thousands do the same. This show is gonna bring you awesome guests, tons of helpful programs that'll aid you but most importantly, your questions and topics that will make this show your show. My question is this, are you ready to get inspired? Well, get ready, because the show starts now. We have a question from Jessica478 on social media that asked a specific question, but so many people ask it. Here's the deal, and we're gonna break it down. Do they work? Yes but how do they work? Why do they work? Well, put it this way. When you are eating predominantly fats and proteins, you're going to lose body fat. You are. But you're also gonna lose body mass and muscle. So, even though I'm not a clinical dietitian or doctor, I will tell you firsthand that you are going to unfortunately, for the long haul, get skinny fat. Why do I say this? Because me and a lot of clients that I currently work with at one point tried keto. So let me give you a dosage of reality. And again, this is just my opinion, right? So whether you're a new follower, subscriber, or you've been following me for a long time, you know I'm gonna give it to you raw, I'm gonna give it to you real, right? Most people that get on these fad diets, right? Because keto essentially, is the new terminology that they use what used to be Atkins, the famous Atkins diet. And when you get on the scale, especially if you're living your life based on what you are looking like or feeling like, on a scale, that's the first mistake most people make. You should not do that. But a lot of people that get on the keto diet, they get all pumped up. They're losing all these pounds, right, throughout each week but they're not realizing they're losing muscle mass. They're losing fat and they end up becoming skinny fat, but here's the dosage of reality that you really need to hear. It is not sustainable. Unless you plan on staying on a keto diet and barely eating any carbohydrates or none, that's just unrealistic. You need carbs. What are carbs? Carbs are energy. You need that to think. You need that to function. You need that to thrive and actually work out effectively, right? Most people that get on keto, they may lose a good amount of weight, but they end up gaining it back and sometimes twice as much, right? So when you restrict all these carbohydrates, your fruit, fruits, excuse me, and much more other great nutrient-based foods, you're doing more of disservice to your body. What I do recommend is having balance in life, having carbohydrates, having fruits. It's all about balance. Obviously, you wanna have those carbs and the, the sugars from the fruits earlier throughout the day. Why? Because you're using energy. You need energy to actually perform, right? But when you're going strictly on keto, right, you're running on fumes. Right, sure, you may be losing weight and you may be feeling great at that moment, but as time goes on, you're gonna get fatigued. It's not sustainable. It's not something that you can say, man, this is the type of relationship I wanna have with food and my body forever. Again, these are just my opinions, right? And I hope this answered a lot of your questions. If you're wondering, well, Jason, what do you suggest? Like I said before, I really think because for me and a lot of clients that I've worked with for so many years, when you have balance in your food with carbs, with protein, with fruits, vegetables, 
that is something you can keep up with. Most of my clients do my 12 week Caliente Mind, Caliente Body program, and that is a three, three phase plan program that works phenomenal and it includes all these foods. So if you have any questions or wanna try this out, let me know. I hope this episode helped you out. And if you have any questions, drop a comment below. I would love to start a conversation and wishing you the best day ever. Stay inspired, get inspired, keep it caliente. See you on the next one. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you're a new viewer and don't forget to click on the bell so you can get notifications every time a new show releases. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and feel free to leave your comments. I'm Jason Roselle and you're watching Get Inspired with Jason.